rain is the latest evil sent to threaten the Japanese people. Still reeling from Tuesday's massive quake, its victims now face the threat of mudslides and disease. The most vulnerable are those left homeless by the disaster. Chilling showers began late last night, driving these quake victims inside. But they were still at the mercy of damaged buildings made more unstable by the downpour. The relief operation, although slow to start, is gradually getting up to speed. Most people now have information about their loved ones, thanks to emergency telephone rooms. Construction workers are busy. They're trying to make buildings safe again, or if beyond repair, pulling them all down. This office block, illustrating the strength of the quake, will almost certainly have to come down. But as well as the physical damage, there's also the emotional toll the disaster has taken. found solace in spiritual ways. They know it is little short of a miracle they're alive at all. Everyone's trying to carry on as before, but some services have not yet been restored and water still has to be collected in buckets. But despite the recent disaster, the wheels of commerce have already begun turning. <laughs>